Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Turning Point. Today we're looking at D-plus Kia's base defense against Firex in Game 2 of their series, where against all odds D-plus managed to defend their base against a team with Elder, Baron Buff and Infernal Soul. The GA is going to pop it, the Dragon's Wrath comes down again. Oh, and Kingen. Kosa down to the GA now, Kingen, he goes golden aiming, he's up once more. It's, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's mega good, take me in the bot lane, take me in the bot lane, take me in the bot lane. That was an insane hold, they were against Elder Baron and Burn Soul, and they won, they won. And we'll have another game in the series. That's it. It's 44 minutes, 30 seconds into the game, and Elder Dragon is spawning in 50 seconds. Both teams are positioning to set up for the fight for the objective. As DK clear mid and move towards the river, they realize Firex is split, as they had previously seen closer bot and Raptor on a ward. So they decide to force a fight in the mid lane. An excellent snap engage allows them to quickly kill two of the carries, while only Lucid falls. Kingen tries to catch out closer with ultimate, forcing his flash. With a numbers advantage and all their carries alive, DK decide to keep pushing, taking the mid lane inhibitor. With Clear and Hannah dead for 24 and 28 seconds respectively, DK tries to end the game. Kingen, who previously used his ultimate on Corky to force the flash, has 97 ability haste because he has 47 infernal cinders, so his ultimate comes back up in just 35 seconds. A great combo with Showmaker on Talia will allow them to burst down Firex's last carry. Kingen uses the Zonyas to drop tower aggro and DK kill Raptor. However, DK now have no minion wave and Firex's carries are spawning soon. At this point they have a choice, they either attempt to end the game or they go for Elder Dragon. Going for Elder would likely be the safest play with Firex's jungler dead, but DK commit to trying to end the game. I think the reason they call to end is because Moham has flash, so he can call a snap engage on the first carry that appears from Fox and they can burst him down with Showmaker's combo. Duro pulls the wave to stop DK from sieging, and King and TP's in in order to hold the wave and prevent it from being pulled away. As DK starts to siege the Nexus turrets, Kennen and Zeri start to spawn. Moham used Exhaust in their last fight, so slicing Maelstrom is a huge threat. He's ready for it though, and the moment Clear uses his Lightning Rush, he flash combos immediately on Alistar to stop him from being able to flash ult inwards. Showmaker and Aiming turn to burst down Clear, but Showmaker's Seismic Shove is not layered perfectly, it's just a fraction of a second off. This allows Clear to be out of CC for a brief moment in which he's able to flash forwards and use his ultimate. Henna joins in with his own ult and they wipe three of DK's players. Kingen is now on the run and Clear TPs to cut him off, but once again the low cooldown on Gragas ult isn't respected as Kingen combos down Clear, who is finished off by Lucid. Kingen dies and it's a 2v1 on the map. Henna and Duro push down mid lane and they take the inhibitor, but they don't commit to ending because Showmaker and Aiming will be spawning soon. With Closer and Raptor back up, they can instead take a free Elder Dragon, followed by a Baron, as DK don't want to fight a team with Elder. DK are now up against a team with four Infernal Dragons, Infernal Soul, Elder Buff, and Baron Buff. The chances of being able to withstand such a team with these buffs is slim to say the least. As Firex sieges the top inhibitor, Raptor ults from an angle with Maokai. DK are extremely disciplined, however, and all move behind Moham to not get rooted, while also barely dodging a big rocket from Closer. Moham instantly ults to break the root. He needs to be free of any CC to stop any potential move from Firex. Usually, this exact situation would be a perfect scenario for a Rel or Cannon combo. The issue is that nobody on Firex has flash, so they can't get past Moham, who is acting as a bodyguard and holding his combo. Henna is too far away to hit anyone on DK as Kingen knocked him away earlier as well, so Firex just can't find the engage. They take the second inhibitor and look to siege the base with the minion wave coming in from the mid lane. As they step up, Aiming hits an Ezreal WQ and Showmaker hits a threat of volley onto Closer, taking him down to around 40% health and forcing him to dash away. With two towers being sieged, they will soon be taken down. DK cannot afford to stall anymore and need to face Firex even though they still have Elder Buff. And they do this with fantastic coordination. Just as Henna uses Lightning Crash, Lucid ults, and then flashes to shorten the distance to instantly CC Henna on the Zeri. Showmaker flashes into range to layer the CC with Lucid, and they go for the all-in. Duro tries to stop Showmaker, but it's just slightly too late, and Talia's combo still goes through. From a distance, aiming ults on Ezreal. DK eliminates a full HP Zeri before she could do any real damage. On the other side of the fight, Clear tries to join the fight and ult DK's carries, but watch what Kingen does here. A crucial body slam forces Clear to dodge upwards to avoid being stunned. By the time Clear gets into position to ult, Moham and Showmaker are no longer CC'd. 
Moham instantly exhausts and knocks Clear away before Slicing Maelstrom can do any more damage. Without Alistair ult, however, Moham quickly falls. Showmaker uses Zonyas to stop any more damage from coming in, but the moment he comes out of the Zonyas, Duro, Raptor, and Closer pile in on him, taking him out to the Elder Dragon execute. As Lucid tries to escape into the fountain, Elder's execute also procs, forcing him into his GA. In the meantime, keeping his distance from the side of the fight, aiming shifts in aggressively to finish off clear with King's help. Now it's a 3v3, and Firex's players group to take down Lucid the moment he comes out of his GA. With Elder Buff, it means they only have to do 30% of Vi's health to kill her. Lucid dies, and Firex immediately turns to kill the remaining two members with Raptor using Twisted Advance onto Kingen, and Closer landing a big rocket on the two members. Raptor knocks back both enemies, and Duro is planning to crash down to CC them further. But a crucial E-Flash combo with an empowered auto from Kingen not only stops Rel CC from hitting him and aiming, but also forces Closer's Corky into GA. Kingen drops a barrel on the ground and uses Zonyas to prevent damage from the other two members from executing him. He detonates it right as Closer comes out of stasis. Aiming follows with a WQE auto combo to kill both Closer and Duro, and with Crypt Bloom healing coming through combined with Elder Buff fading, there's no way Raptor can kill Kingen. Aiming grabs a triple kill and Kingen TPs to bot lane where he solo ends the game. DK prevented the 2-0 from Firex and ended up turning the series around, ending it with a 2-1 win. And Kingen has TP, look at the bow wave! They oh can end. my god, he's going to do it! This is absolute cinema! This is ludicrous! And we'll have another game in the series! Looking back, DK probably could have played it a lot safer by simply going to Elder instead of trying to end the game. When going for the end, a small mistake of layering CC means they couldn't kill the cannon, which led to the whole base defense situation. However, in the face of adversity, such small details allowed them to triumph. They showed a lot of discipline when dealing with the Maokai ult, preventing anyone from getting CC'd. The rookie of Moham showed a lot of restraint holding his CC to prevent an engage from Rel or Kennen, and then instantly exhausting and knocking away the Kennen during his ultimate. The team made a call and Lucid, Showmaker and Aiming followed it immaculately, layering CC and damaging perfectly to 100-0 the Zeri and Showmaker learns from his past mistake, getting in range in time to make sure the CC would be layered perfectly, even if it meant flashing forwards. Aiming played the fight perfectly from range, not allowing anyone to get close, landing crucial initial poke on closer that limited him from doing much in the fight. Kingen was phenomenal, from his first body slam to zone Kennen away from his team, to then the surprising body slam flash combo to save the game. Ultimately, the lack of summoner spells really hurt Firex from being able to close out the game, whereas DK used three of their flash advantages very well to surprise their opponents. I told you they're crazy! I told you they're crazy! I told you they're crazy! I'm gonna go